Hello everybody, it's your friendly digital technology librarian Christy here. We've reached another Friday, so of course I have another Film Rec Friday ready for everybody out there. Now, as you know, March is National Women's History Month and we have put together a number of themed recommendation lists to share with you all month long. So last week we were sharing films focused on women in business and this week I have a duo of films focused on women making history. The first of those films uh, follows a trio of women trailblazing their way through a difficult workplace environment, NASA, and the other film focuses on a woman struggling to uh, be taken seriously as an athlete in a sport where the leadership really refuses to acknowledge her abilities. As always, these titles are available entirely for free with the use of your Mylan Berlin Library card. So without any further ado, let's get to the recs! Okay, our first recommendation is available through our Clevenet service and that is 2016's Hidden Figures. Now, Hidden Figures is a biopic about three female African-American mathematicians, Catherine Goebel Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson, all three of whom worked for NASA during the space race. This particular film is based on a uh, nonfiction book by the same name uh, by author Margot Lee Shetterly, and the book was massively, massively lauded. It had tons of critical acclaim and a lot of public acclaim as well. So that's uh, a great thing to have such a well-regarded source material. So the film itself, really, really entertaining from beginning to end. Uh, it's one of those stories that grabs you right away. You uh, are immediately put in a place to totally empathize with your protagonists and the acting is so incredibly solid. So Catherine Goebel Johnson is played by Taraji P. Henson, Dorothy Vaughn is played by Octavia Spencer, and Mary Jackson is played by Janelle Monet, um, who most people usually think of with regard to music, but is an exceptionally solid actress as well. Uh, and all three of them have this really like organic acting style. You connect with them and they're so good at pulling you in to every scene. Whether we're looking at the minutia of their daily lives uh, during that particular time period, all of the things that they're facing just as women of color at all, uh, and then when you think of the difficulties that they're facing as women in these highly academic positions, many of which were positions primarily held by white males, uh, so you add to that the fact that they are not only women, but women of color. That's just a very different kind of universe. Um, and you, whatever your personal experiences are with workplace drama, I mean, you absolutely get caught up in all of the things that they are forced to face. And it's, it's one of those it's a really interesting experience to watch movies like this, I think, because there are some films that sort of tell you a story. And I, I know that seems odd. All films tell you a story, but they're, they're that sort of communicate how you're supposed to feel. And the ones that just feel much more natural where your reactions are just sort of visceral. And I feel like this is definitely one of those films. Um, in this particular movie, we do have some controversy controversies. Uh, there were some changes made from the book. Uh, those include sort of like timeline adjustments, which, um, you know, different, different elements occurred at very different times in, you know, the, the actual timeline of this, uh, the sequence of events. Uh, and, and the biggest, uh, I believe controversy were a few scenes that just didn't happen to happen, did, just, just didn't occur at all in real life. Um, and when interviewed, the writer often tried to explain that he wanted, you know, to encompass multiple events into one thing, like to, to basically have one moment pull you in in the same way that several series of moments would. 
as to whether or not they were necessary, I mean, you have to decide that for yourself. Uh, but I do think at the end of the day, the movie is one that is incredibly gripping and that tells a story of a time period that does not get told anywhere near enough. Uh, again, we don't hear a lot of stories about women of color in this era in high academic positions and the things that they're facing. I mean, we don't even get that many stories about women in high academic positions like this. This is I, it's so to be able to sort of at the very least open the door to asking questions, to, you know, doing more research. It's a big deal. Um, I do think that the overall setting of everything as well, like the production value is really, really great in addition to the acting. Um, the, the, the actors are really able to sort of melt into a scene when everything is working just right from the costumes to the sets. I mean, you feel like you're looking at NASA during the Great Space Race, right? I mean, it really does feel like a very real, believable world. And I think that all of that goes and aids a performance. So when you have people who are already incredible actors, and we're not talking about just the three leads, all of the supporting performers too, uh, from Kevin Costner to Jim Parsons to Kirsten Dunst, they all put in like, really brilliant work. And, and I think that's what carries this movie forward, regardless of, you know, controversy and everything else. Um, so if you are looking for a film that discusses, uh, a workplace environment that doesn't get talked about a lot, I mean, there aren't really a whole lot of NASA stories to begin with, as far as just your everyday kind of mathematicians and engineers. We talk about the actual astronauts and the people who are, you know, the big name heroes all the time, but these people were the ones that made it also happen. Um, so, so I really am excited by that aspect of this film. So if you're looking for something like that, that tells the, the, the story of people who have, you know, less flashy lives, I suppose, uh, if you're looking at uh, a film that, you know, delves into a really dramatic period of American history, if you're just interested in NASA history at all as well, this one's a really interesting one to take a look at, and I definitely recommend it. Once again, available through our CleanNet service on both DVD and Blu-ray, uh, 2016's Hidden Figures. Okay, my other recommendation for this week is also available via our CleanNet service, and that is 2017's Battle of the Sexes. In all honesty, I have never been a big sports fan. I just never have enjoyed watching, you know local teams, national teams. The only sporting events that I really like are during the Olympics. And that's more because like the Olympics, but I love a good sports movie. I don't care if it's Rudy, a league of their own field of dreams. I will watch them all and I will love them all. I don't care what sport it is. I, I honestly just don't. And they're always entertaining. And battle of the sexes is entertaining. It's also a really fascinating period of time in women in sports history. It's also just about two really incredibly interesting figures within the sporting realm as well. And it all sort of comes together in an incredibly well-made film. Uh, so Battle of the Sexes it focuses on Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs's big Battle of the Century tennis match uh, in 1973. This was the most watched television sports event of all time. I mean, there were a lot of sporting events and for this tennis match, and you can't tell me that tennis has the same sort of fervent following that a lot of other sports has here in the States. Like, the most watched television sports event of the time. That is incredible to me. And when you're watching it, uh, this movie is so interesting in how it gets to that point. You know, you, you basically have this one guy who is the consummate showman. I mean, Bobby Riggs knows how to play an audience. Uh, he knows how to play up the things that, that, a lot of people see as a villainous side, uh, but that some people actually take, you know, see and, 
you know, agree with, especially at that time period and how he uses that persona to, to really ruffle feathers and to get this attention, to have people be interested enough to tune in and watch this thing. Whether you want to see him succeed or fail, it does not matter to him. He, like I said, consummate showman, absolutely fascinating guy. And a lot of that we get to see, that whole glitz and glamour side of him. But the movie also lets us see, you know, a lot of what's going on underneath. Um, the Bobby Riggs we meet in this movie is having a lot of personal problems. He's got a gambling issue. He he struggles. He's also incredibly funny, incredibly witty, and the kind of brash that people will either love or hate. And it's interesting for me, especially to watch this and be like, to see, especially when you think about the fact that Steve Carell is playing this character. Steve Carell is one of those actors that I absolutely love. I have watched pretty much everything he's done. I, it, even in the films where the genre is totally not my type, there's something about the way he embodies a character that makes you, if nothing else, feel for the character. I think anybody else playing Bobby Riggs would have, for me, been kind of one note. I know how, as someone who has actually like done a fair amount of research on the bat, this particular tennis match, because it is absolutely fascinating, just history wise, like just dry history wise, it's absolutely fascinating. I think that I would have absolutely not had any empathy or feeling for this character had it not been Steve Carell. And that's an interesting thing to think about other people who are fans or not fans, how that kind of casting will affect the way you view a film. And then Billie Jean King, of course, uh, such a maverick uh, athlete at the time, you know, she is at the top of her game in women's tennis. She is able to really show the world that women can absolutely compete with men, that, you know, they have the same capabilities. It's just she's getting so much pushback from the leadership of the sport at that time. Uh, and, you know, makes these very difficult decisions about, you know, how to present herself to the world, how to present herself to the sporting families, how to make different decisions, you know, whether or not she should fight for certain things, what to reveal, what to keep, you know, hidden. Uh, and, you know, this movie really, really delves into that particular period of her time, of her life as well. And, it does a really great job of showing how the battles she picked and chose were really difficult for her. Those decisions were really difficult for her to make. Um, so not only is she facing the idea of, you know, how do I take on the responsibility of <laughs> representing this sport, playing against an, an, an incredibly solid athlete, and still maintaining the image that I want to maintain. And all of those things mixed together are really, really interesting and so layered in this performance. And Emma Stone does an incredibly solid job with that. Um, she, she, just, she just really, really does. And she and Stone and Carell have really, really great chemistry as these two. Um, that sort of athletic, in-your-face, uh, vying of big personalities and ego and and skill they they really bring that to the fore with the, every scene that the two of them are in uh, and it's also very clear that they really researched um, some of the conversations that we get to see performed are straight out of uh, filmed interviews that the two had done together in in, in the 70s so it's it's interesting to see those different things all come together, like the research plus the performance plus like production and everything else. It's, it's, it's really interesting to watch. Um, so this film does a great job of, yes, showing the uh, big glitz and glamour of this particular sports match, but also see showing you, you know, the lives and everything going on for these two behind the scenes. Uh, and then it, it also just depicts a period of time when this struggle was very, very real across the board, whether we're talking about sports, the workplace, whatever. 
Uh, so I definitely recommend it for all of those reasons. Now, during the awards show season, this show, this film was nominated for all of the big, the biggies. Uh, you had both Stone and Carell receiving nominations for Best Actor. You had a number of Critics' Choice Awards. Uh, you had Screen Actors Guild Awards. I mean, it was a very critically acclaimed movie that absolutely bombed at the box office. I think when they were initially talking about numbers, like the first weekend, it, it, it did like 16 million, which I, it is a huge amount of money, but I don't think the 16 million even covers the production. Uh, so it, it, it absolutely bombed uh, as far as uh, people going out to, uh, to the theaters and seeing it. And so if you didn't see it then, and then you just sort of didn't get to see it once it hit home video, I strongly, strongly recommend that you check it out. Um, exceptionally solid acting from both Stone and Carell. Really great production values. The um, supporting cast is also really great. Uh, Bill Pullman plays a character that, you know, I've always loved Bill Pullman because of different mil films I recognize him from from childhood while you were sleeping, Independence Day. So to see him play a character that I found particularly unpleasant, it was interesting. And to see him really be able to embody that character, also really great. Um, but yeah, it's a fascinating period of time. And the film does a really great job of sort of imbuing itself with all of those pressures and, you know, questions about what society is going to do. So if you're interested in that, in history, in sports history, in entertainment history, because that is a really big part of this. I'm, I'm, I'm very serious. Seeing seeing the showmanship of how to put this together was really cool. Uh, all of those elements, highly recommended. Again, this is available on DVD and Blu-ray via our Cleavenet service, 2017's Battle of the Sexes. It's a must watch. Okay, so those were my recommendations for films focusing on women making history. If you have any recommendations for films that you would like for us to see, please make sure you comment with those below. If you have any recommendations for themes you'd like to see us cover in the future, definitely share those ideas with me. Always looking for good ideas for upcoming themes. Uh, as always, thank you so, so much for joining me. I love putting these lists together, and these two movies were just incredibly fun to watch again. Uh, as always, again, thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you next week. Bye-bye.